The word of God is truth The word of God is light The entrance of God's word To your heart will change your life Hello, subjects of God's kingdom scattered all over the world. It's Friday, 29th of December, 2023. Wow, we are grateful to God for 2023, our year of the prolific church, right? Now, we are joining Pastor Chris today to begin a three-day prayer and fasting program as we close this great year and prepare our hearts for what set the Lord for 2024 at the New Year's Eve service with our man of God, Pastor Chris, on the 31st of December, 2023. How our hearts are ready to align with God's perfect will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding by the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. And so with Pastor Chris teaching, our theme for today's article is Jesus made fellowship with God a reality. Our theme in the scripture is taken from Ephesians 2 verse 14 and it says, For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus came to bring us into fellowship with God. Pastor begins. He came to establish an intimate relationship, a oneness between God and man, so that man can truly know God, and he achieved it. True? In Christ Jesus, we were given eternal life. The life and nature of God was imparted to our spirits. He said in John 10 verse 10 of the NIV, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. The Christ life in its fullness is what you received when you received Jesus as Lord of your life. The Bible says in Colossians 3 verse 4, Christ is our life. He is the life of the one who is born again. What a gospel. Glory to God. Oh, this is what he wants us to preach and teach around the world. He said in Mark 16 verse 15, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He wants us to let the world know that a relationship with Almighty God is possible. Righteousness is possible and available. All it takes is to believe. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life, according to John 3 verse 15. Hallelujah! Jesus died for our sins, but he rose triumphantly from the dead after three days. His death settled the charges against us, but it didn't make us one with God. It was his resurrection that gave us eternal life and brought us into oneness with God. Glory to God. Now, Jesus Christ isn't only the Lord of your life, but also one in and by whom you found rich and deep fellowship. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. That we can find in 1 John 1 verse 3. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 9 says, God is faithful by whom ye were called unto the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Oh, this is what God had always wanted with man, fellowship. Jesus made it a reality. Hallelujah, Pastor concludes. Oh, dear Lord, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, Dear Father, 
Thank you for the remarkable gift of fellowship, oneness, friendship and intimacy with you and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit who has made your presence real to me. I enjoy the depth of this relationship and walk in the love and righteousness that Jesus has made available for me to live by. Amen. All right, for further study, please read 1 Corinthians 1 verse 9, 1 John 1 verse 3 of the Amplifier Classic, and then 1 John 4 9 to 10 says... In this was manifested the love of God toward us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. O oh, saints, you see, the issue of sin has been dealt with. Sin was nailed to the cross. Now, Jesus Christ isn't only the Lord of our lives, but also one in and by whom we found rich and deep fellowship. This is eternal life, knowing God the Father and the one whom he sent. Remember, John 17 verse 3, glory to God. Oh, pastor says this is what God had always wanted with man, fellowship. Thank God we have it. We found life. Jesus made it a reality. Blessed be his name forever. All right, for further details, please contact us via any of our social media handles or visit any Christ Embassy Church near you. God bless you and to have a most glorious day.